And all right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. How are you people doing? Let's get it going. Come on, guys. The best men's channel on YouTube. No cap. Some of you guys don't like that I say that. You let me know. Should we keep saying it? I'm kind of kidding when I say it, guys, although I'm not kidding at the same time. But I don't mean it in an egoic way, but I do believe in it. So you let me know. Anyways, though, you guys let me know where you're from. What time is it? Hashtag self-developed army. And let's get today's video going. So guys, in today's video, straight to it, we're speaking of, I've made, I'll be brutally honest with you guys, I've repeated every single video probably like five times, um, not because, well, I mean, I guess I <laughs> kind of have run out of ideas, huh? but honestly, guys, it's because as you mature and you grow as a man, um, life actually becomes simpler understand you think of kind of like i don't know a vast highway right with a ton of different options right there's a bunch of cars on it this is, this is actually yes there's a bunch of cars politically ideologically if that's a word i don't know a bunch of different fitness plans everything's flashy a ton of ice cream flavors but as you mature and you keep going the road begins to get slimmer and you begin to notice patterns and you begin to realize that life does not have to be as hard as you know we've been taught. And I believe that's why we have all this political confusion, this gender confusion, this everything confusion because of this exact reason. So my friends, in today's video we're speaking of, or I titled it, why you as men should not date in your 20s. So with that said guys, I'll be brutally honest with you. Um, you know, when I was a teenager, which I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing all of you guys are past that stage, uh, we all dated, I, I believe teenagehood guys, and I am not telling you to avoid dating whatsoever. You see, the difference between me and even though I am a, a, a true Christ follower is I'm not, and I'm not knocking these guys, but I'm not one of these churchgoers who kind of grew up in it and had very, uh, let's say, religious parents who, you know, didn't allow me to see any girl or talk to any girl, uh, you know, from, from childhood onwards. No, in fact, actually, my dad died while I was young. But I went through it, guys. I experimented. I went through my party phase. And to an extent, I recommend it for all of you guys. Now, I'm not saying this to encourage sin, right? Because I, you know, we're playing with fire, guys, when we sin. But I do believe when you go to these quote-unquote parties, these events, which I do think will naturally happen as there's, there's a grace God gives us, guys. I mean, that's why Jesus died for us. But to keep it a bit more practical, yeah, guys, I dated girls, I slept around, I, I did everything you guys did. Now, I wasn't a man ho, so I didn't, you know, thank God, man. I mean, I, whether you guys believe it or not, I, I, I've been with many women. I attracted, it was very easy for me as a teenager. I was very popular and, you know, um, you know, I was, I was around a lot of women. But I only slept with around five of them. And some of you guys may laugh and think, ah, David, you know, that's silly. And by sleeping, I mean sleeping, right? Other stuff we don't count, but, but full on <laughs> sleeping about five. And the reason I'm glad about that is because I do believe it's the reason I'm able to be so sober and vigilant, right? 1 Peter 5, 8. I'm able to see and be so discerning to you guys. I do believe in soul ties. And this is a complete different video. But if you guys, especially at a young age, right? This is why I'm not, in, I'm not encouraging sin. If you sleep with I don't know, let's say like you become a womanizer, right? 10, 12, like it's your whole mission. That's a very beta thing to do. And I've made countless videos on this, but let's say you sleep with 10 to 15 plus women in your teenagehood, early twenties. You know, I know it sounds cool on paper. It doesn't sound cool to me, but for kind of like low IQ, you know, younger guys, it's cool. It's flashy, right? It's like, whoa, crypto, make all this money, drop shipping, you know, I don't know, be a millionaire at 16 years old. It's, again, like I said, guys, at the beginning, when you were a kid, everything is new. Everything is do this, do this, do this. And, you know, should I go here? Should I, it, 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 it's very flashy, but it's actually a very scary time in your life where when you get older, I'm, I'm almost 26 um, and I feel like I've matured very well as a, as a 20 year old, if I'm being brutally honest, my life is, <laughs> it's comical how simple it is. I think about this, I laugh. I'm kind of like laughing and I don't know, sadness, happiness. My life is like three things. And uh, where I'm going with it, guys, is once you go through this party phase, wow, I just spoke of a ton of things. What was I saying before? Yes. Sorry, guys. When you're young, all right, a lot of options, a lot of fun, spin plates, you know, bang a lot of girls, yada, yada. That's, that's, there is a phase and we all have to go through this. Now, I'm encouraging you to not get too engulfed in it because that can really set you up negatively as you get older, right? I believe that's the difference between maturing correctly mm, versus maturing or not maturing at all. You see a lot of guys who are 30, 40, 50 years old, right? 
still doing the same activities as they did when they were teenagers. And this is because my friend, I believe there's, I mean, a multitude of reasons, but it's because simply put, they did not make the appropriate sacrifices. And again, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not saying I'm any better than anybody because we all have our things, right? Our, our struggles, but they didn't purposefully because as a man what we do is we consciously narrow our path you understand it's not an easy thing to do a lot of maturity becoming a man is actually just letting go right it's like layers of an onion doom 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 the onion's getting smaller but more potent right? i don't think onions get more potent as they get smaller but you get what i'm saying right like peeling an orange right you bite that the the layer the skin you know you're not going to get too many nutrients but when you peel back the skin and you get to the core of it you get to the juice of it man ooh <laughs> right. uh, this is maybe a silly example but where i'm going with it guys is i believe when you are a man in your 20s so we're past the dating phase that's kind of where i'm going with it you're past the uh you know the wide phase and you're beginning to notice you know what david I am feeling this level of maturity. I'm feeling this calling, this yearning from God within to begin to become more decisive and carve a path for myself. You're maturing, buddy. You're maturing like fine wine. That's what they say with us as men, right? We mature like wine. If you do it correctly. I still have a long way to go, believe me. And it's very, it's very difficult. It's not easy. I believe one of the fastest ways to mature or to condense this path, this road to that ultimate climax, the end destination, one of them, my friends, is to no longer date. Yes, that is right. Write that down. I don't change my opinion. I'm not changing my mind. You are a man. You're not a kid. Men don't date. Now, can we court, vet, and look for potential future wives ready to serve us on our God-fearing missions? Absolutely. And that's a complete different video, which I'll make of. But as far as dating goes, as far as... It's really sad, guys. Again, I'm going to try to keep my brain, like, on one topic. But are you guys beginning to, like, paint... Put the puzzle pieces together? This is how I think. It, it's all intertwined. You have red pill influencers who are in their, like, mid-30s telling you to date. That is the most man-childish, effeminate thing I can think of. You're not a teenager. You're not 16 anymore, dude. You're a damn man. And excuse me for saying that. Go have kids. Go be a dad. Go create a legacy. What are you doing? Right? Here I am, 25, probably the youngest in my red pill community, yet I feel like the oldest in a lot of ways. Why? Not because I'm better, but I've deliberately decided to cut off the fluff, the superficial fat to go towards the climax. And what is that climax, my friend? Well, it's a multitude of things. Ultimately, it is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, who built our entire society west. There is historical evidence on his life, death, resurrection. Notice how whenever I speak of that, I, I burp. Hey, eh? that's Satan. He doesn't want me to say that. Spiritual warfare. Jesus Christ, and this is not even a video for me to like really, you know, speak of Christ. I just, everything comes back to that, right? It's not Muhammad, it's not Islam, it's not Judaism, it's nothing else. Everything points back to Christ, guys. It's what built our entire society in West. It's what has bared the most fruits out of any other religion, because it's not a religion, it's a relationship. It's what the elites, Hollywood, society, movies, music, it's what they attack the most. They don't care about other religions, they don't attack it. Right? If you guys have ever dealt with like exorcisms or things like that, the demons flee with what name? Jesus Christ. Not Muhammad, not Buddha, not Charles Darwin. Right? If you guys even study Freemasonry and stuff like that, I'll, believe me, if you guys think you're like too smart for this, it goes deep. You keep studying truth, you will come to this climax, my friend. And that wasn't even the whole point of this video. I wasn't even going to bring that up. But where I'm going with this, guys, is I believe as you begin to climax as a man, you begin to prioritize, right? Cut the fat. Naturally, you will stop dating. As well as a ton of other things, guys. You know, please, 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 guys. I feel like I'm talking to like an empty room. You know, I, I love you guys so much, my loyal followers. But like, you can see the frustration, right? It's like, I, I feel like I see everyone just consuming degeneracy and i'm like the littlest the smallest bird like guys don't don't do that and they're like shut up <laughs> all right we're gonna go do this um if you want to truly mature as a man and genuinely seek truth i do believe you will follow this path because it's the path i followed and it found me and i seek for truth as you guys know 
you will mature, you will stop your effeminate behavior. Again, I'm, I'm still dealing with stuff, guys. And none of us are perfect. The Holy Spirit, when you become born again, will cleanse you. It'll transform you. And if you guys are on the fence right now thinking, David, that sounds very difficult. That sounds very arduous. That sounds not like a lot of fun. I got to give up dating and things like this. Well, my friends, you were viewing it the wrong way. You were viewing it as a religion. Like the other religions, Islam, Judaism, works-based, my friend, being born again under Christ is a relationship. Ooh, is it beautiful. And naturally, that relationship, that Holy Spirit, once it embeds in your heart, changes you. I partake in these activities or cut the fat naturally. This climax, this sense of maturity organically happens and I'm doing nothing. That's the beautiful part and that's what sets Christ apart. It's happening. It's like a child being born in the womb, right? Of course, you know, you got to be smart and, and you got to, you know, be on your game. But for the most part, the child's doing nothing. The mother is growing him. God is growing him. So my encouragement for you guys right now and any YouTuber watching this video who's in my quote unquote self-development industry. And the reason I keep bringing up that industry is because, you know, I, 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 I grew up with a lot of these YouTubers on my channel, you know, began to grow years back. So it's very sentimental to me. I feel like it's like we we're all kind of kids who grew up in the same house and now we're all kind of doing our own thing. I encourage those men to take the advice I'm giving them because every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. And you can only mentally masturbate with yourself and your audience for so long. You see, to finish it here, guys, to follow the path that David has followed or God has chosen me, it is one of, if not the hardest paths you will follow. Why? Because you will lose everything. And when you thought you've lost it all, you'll lose more. <laughs> now, I count all blessings, guys. Mark my words. I am not complaining. I'm not taking the, the, the place I live in for granted. But you will lose Everything you thought that was going to stay with you could be girlfriend, could be family members, could be all of your finances, your viewers, your subscribers, your, your fame, you know, your friends at the gym that knew you, the ego, the pride, the false sense of yourself, old patterns, habits, addictions, ways of being one by one gone 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 so you're left with the purest version of yourself which really is kind of the whole point of this video <laughs> so that's basically it guys i kind of spoke and speak of a ton of things ultimately as i get older i realize what being a man is and what it is to me is is, is, is as of right now it's, a, it's three things it's one Really, above everything, it's your mission, right? It's, it's what I'm doing here. It's my service to Christ. It's feeling that that calling from God, which all of you have. I'm not saying you're going to be a YouTuber. I'm not even saying you have to, quote unquote, speak of Christ, you know, through making videos. But you have a mission. And if you're saying you don't, you're denying it. You're not looking closer because you, my friend, are too busy dating, being a degenerate with the rest of, you know, the wide population. Take the call to adventure. Move towards the next step. Do you understand? Serving your mission, following Christ. For me, it's going to a church and powerlifting. It's making money, serving God, lifting, going to church, and then a bit of downtime. That's it. No friends, no girlfriend, no parties, no stimulus, no drugs, no alcohol, but a strong, rooted brotherhood in Christ, a mission focused life. A mission focused life. And uh, it's not easy, man. And it gets very frustrating. You almost feel like God's abandoned you at those times when everything begins to leave. It's how I've been feeling as of late, guys. Like God forgot me. You know, I've gone this far and I've, I've learned this much and changed and continue to endure yet. Yeah, on one hand, it feels like he's forgotten me. But on the other hand, I feel like I found myself and he's built me far past anything I ever could have imagined. So it's beautiful. God bless. I am so grateful, but it is scary. <laughs> it's both guys. You can't have one without the other. If you want to evolve as a man, God will test you. He will take things away from you and he will see how well you sit under the fire of not knowing. 
Let's see your faith, struggler. Which unfortunately most individuals, let alone YouTubers, do not promote. They don't have. They're wolves in sheep's clothing. And they just pretend like they're moving towards growth, yet they're living lives of luxury and lavishness. But they won't tell you. But I can see it. Anyways, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. That's why you shouldn't date in your 20s even though we go on an entire philosophical spiritual journey in these videos, which I love and I love you guys. And I really know and hope <laughs> that it's time for this channel to blow up, man. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Like You got to be honest with me. You know this channel deserves more than like 2,000 views a video. You know it. Come on. Right? I'm not trying to be egoic, but like... It's about time. You see what Satan does to you? He just holds you back. And you're just like, God, did you forget about me? I've been growing and doing everything you told me. Let me go. But he will. And once he lets go of that final slingshot, boom. Ooh, baby, you launch all for Christ and to build a legacy. I know I'm kind of ranting, guys. This is my like journal to myself. So thank you guys. Have an amazing day. I'll finish it here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I'll finish it here on the one final plug. Guys, if you're interested in anything of what I talk about in these videos, becoming a better man, a Christ-fearing man, focusing on improving areas like your fitness, business, mindset, and then relationships, there is always one-on-one -on -one coaching, guys. Spots are open. I've actually just reduced my prices by around 25%. So if any of you guys have been on the fence, now is the time. Taking on more individuals, only for those who are serious, and I absolutely love Love working with you men. Thank you. First link below. You can support Edge. Coupon code developed. You got that nice blue. I don't know what you want to call this. Just like a, it's a nice shirt. I, I like this shirt. And that is that. Let us keep enduring towards this path of ultimate maturity, which unfortunately 95 to 96% of people will not accept. They have been called, but they unfortunately will not be chosen because they are denying that. You are not denying it. I am not denying it. It will be the hardest path you will follow and endure. Everything will be taken away from you to test your faith. But what will be left at the end is yourself purified, renewed with your spirit in God, with Christ, feeling this thumos and power around you to then inspire and empower other men. Then everything else gets added to you. That was all part of the plan. And that will be exactly with my life. And all of you will see it here before it happens. So thank you guys. Have an amazing day. Check your next video. Much love. Peace.